Ainafek Nature Reserve is the last remnant of the Acre Valley wetlands which were drained in the 1920s. In 1960, Israel began pumping water from the aquifer for drinking water and agriculture. As a result, the wetland was severely damaged, almost to dehydration. A decade ago, Giselle Hazan became the Israel Nature and Park Authority's new director of the Nature Reserve, and she has changed the entire water management at Enafik. She carried out actions at different levels, from local operation of small dams to large-scale national policy changes. Hazan directed engineering projects such as making new ponds for future emergency use, laying new pipes from remote wells to ensure water quality in the Nature Reserve, and initiating a new system for distributing fresh water within the nature reserve. Hazan instituted ecological projects, including restoration of water bodies, creating ponds for supplemental feeding of migrating pelicans, and rehabilitation and restoration of natural flora. One can feel the vibrant life force that has been restored to this precious site. Giselle Hassan brought to the Enafek Nature Reserve a new age of wise use with long-term implications for restoring this precious wetland habitat. The changes required innovative engineering projects, ecological and biological monitoring and management, and environmental education. Enafek is an operative model of successful wetland rehabilitation that is applicable at other sites in Israel and around the world. Enafek is now an important place for students, researchers, and decision makers to come and learn how to properly rehabilitate wetlands. And many of the lessons learned here are being adopted at other wetland sites and nature reserves around the country. Enafek now provides valuable ecosystem services to the public who enjoy seeing the wonder and rich diversity of plant and animal life at the water pools. switch from stopgap temporary measures to carefully planned and executed long-term projects has saved the ecosystem and made Enafek Nature Reserve a vital wetland site in this dry country, which is important for nature conservation, ecotourism, education, ecological research, and nature lovers.